Hey guys, there's a new video out there showing a UFO that appears to look really similar to the one captured in Beaver, Utah. The new video was taken in La Rioja, Spain, and it comes our way courtesy of a YouTube channel called Verdad Oculta. Now, I'm not going to spend a ton of time in this video talking about this UFO sighting. If you want to see more about it, check out my latest post or head over to the original on Verdad Oculta's account. Instead today, I'm actually going to be talking about a second, previously unseen, unidentified flying object that appears in this very same video from La Rioja, Spain. Now let me say this again. In this video from Spain, there's one fast-moving UFO that zips by and looks like the one from Utah, but then in this very same video, there's an entirely different UFO that only very recently was discovered by the good people on the internet. Now, once again, I've got to credit Rob Woodis for this one, whose account I'm going to link below. Rob is the brilliant investigator who discovered the second UFO in the Spain video. Apparently, as the backstory goes, Verdad Oculta reached out to Rob, who had done a bang-up job analyzing the Utah UFO, and he asked Rob to take a look at this new UFO from Spain. Now, I strongly encourage all of you guys to go and check out Rob's latest video where he breaks down the Spain sighting. Rob makes the case that the first flying object could very well just be a bug, although he admits he remains unsure about this. Then comes the plot twist we're all interested in. There's an entirely different UFO in this same video and it took Rob to find it. Look at this unidentified whitish object flying through the trees below. Rob calculates that it's traveling about four miles per hour, which is slower than any bird on earth can fly. The fastest bird can only fly five miles per hour. Rob later corrected himself in the comments section and said that he overmeasured initially and that this flying object is actually only traveling three and a half miles per hour, making it even less likely to be a bird. Eliminating everyone's favorite bird explanation, that leaves open the possibility that this could be some other sort of bug, such as a butterfly, as Rob points out. The strange thing is this object, even though it's so far away, still renders and is still very easy to see on camera. Now bear in mind that this was shot with a DJI Mavic Pro, and I'll link its specs below. But it's strange if this thing is a bug that we're able to see it for as long as we are. What's perhaps even more compelling and curious about the second UFO is the way it dives out of view at the end. While we can't see exactly where the UFO goes, it appears to suddenly accelerate and dive down to either a lower point in the trees or perhaps even into an opening in the mountain. Once the object quickly shoots away, we never see it again. What's equally peculiar about this second UFO in the Spain video is that it seems to behave similarly to the one in Utah. Forget that it too appears to be white in color and relatively small. Both UFOs seem to meander through the trees right before accelerating out of view. Both of them look like these little white dots dancing around without any difficulty in the trees. What do you guys think about this second sighting? Could it be the same object captured in Utah? Let us know in the comments below. And please subscribe if you like these videos. Thanks again, Rob, and everyone out there who's looking into all these sightings. The more we come together and share information, the closer we'll get to the truth. I noticed something. There's another object that flies through this seam. You notice we have seen almost nothing. There's no birds. There's there's no people. But now I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in here. So I'm sorry to confuse you there, but I just zoomed in. And I want you to watch coming right down the hillside here. There it is. And it almost is floating. Sorry, let me... My computer doesn't like rendering this uh, stabilization very well. There it is. It's almost floating. And it's going really slow along the hillside. Now, the interesting thing is that hillside is pretty far away. So it's easy to say, well, it almost looks like it's wobbling the shape of it. That could be a flapping motion. Maybe it's a bird. Uh, and then all of a sudden, psh, it drops into the trees out of view, right? So the cool thing is we know where that is. And it's right down here. And we can measure that. And we can see uh, it comes into the hillside here and it moves behind the trees here, which is about 150 feet. So if we say, um, how, oh, we need how long. How long did it take to go this distance? So we can see how fast it's going. So I have to look at my, uh, my timeline to see just how long does it take for it to travel this distance. I have a time of, uh, let's measure from the point where it's actually just after the turn there, right? Yeah, there it is. So just after the turn, right, up until it drops behind the trees. So if I look at my time, I get 26 seconds. And you guys can verify that separately if you want to. So 26 seconds 
So let's just look on here again. And we're dropping behind the tree. Maybe it goes to these trees here. Oops. So from here to, oh, right, the trees are in the corner. So right there, I think, is the tree we're talking about. 160 feet. So how fast is this thing going? It goes 160 feet in 26 seconds. 26 seconds, right? So there's how many feet per second it goes, right? So times 60 is how many feet in a minute. And then times 60 again is feet per hour divided by the feet in a mile. Gives us miles per hour. That's four miles per hour, right? And depending on how you measure that, I don't think it even went that far. Um, that's slower than a bird. The slowest bird I looked up can fly at five miles per hour. So this thing is just kind of leisurely putting along here. And it doesn't seem to be doing a lot of hovering or, or anything like that. It's relatively small because of the distance. Uh, it's hard to tell, but, it's, uh, but it still renders. And we just showed how something that's that far away doesn't render very well. I'm going to show you that again. And uh, it does seem to have a yellow color. Uh, see that? So I might be looking at a might be looking at a butterfly. So whereabouts is the drone where it can see this? And those are pixels that you're seeing too. So it's really hard to tell if that's flapping or if that's going from pixel to pixel because we're really zoomed in. And then it drops off. Yep, it's really hard to tell what happens there. <laughs>